Hi, this is Gail with Gail's Southern Living. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a soaping video and this collaboration is being held, uh, hosted by Mountain Grandma and Yogi Hollow Farm. Uh, my mom had bought me this kit, oatmeal vanilla soap making kit. So I have that, but I also have like molds and color and uh, essential oils and all that stuff so we'll see what comes in the kit and then I could make up for that with some of my own stuff okay so it comes with the melt and pour soap um, you can also use this plastic thing as your mold right here three little um, an oval a square and a circle and it has a little print and then it comes with its own essential oil and some colorant. This is a liquid colorant right there. And this must be the vanilla right here. Very cool. All right. So that's it. That's what comes in the kit. And uh, I'll add a few of my own things and I'll show you what the soap looks like. Let me get set up for uh, making this melt and pour soap. Okay, this also came with oatmeal powder. So the kit came with the shea butter, oatmeal powder, vanilla fragrance, and yellow colorant. Um, and a four cavity mold and a decorative sheet of paper and the instructions says you will need a microwave, wooden sticks, kitchen knife, plastic wrap, cutting board, microwave safe, measuring cup, uh, rubbing alcohol to spray, and a pair of scissors. So that's what it says it will need. I'm just going to leave this sitting right next to me here. And this is my stirring stick. I've written soap on it and I use this for like if I put a color in it, I can stir it around or a fragrance, you know, just to get it all throughout the whole thing. So let me set up and we'll get started on making soap. All right, I got my cutting board underneath. I went ahead and opened up the colorant and the uh, essential oil um, because once this gets hot, it'll be hard to be messing with that. So you want all your, your packaging open because you're working on a clock, you know. You want to try to get it done fast so that you know, your soap looks pretty the way you want it to. All right. I got that ready. Now I need to try to get this out. I'm guessing it'll just push out. I guess that's what this middle thing is for, to be able to push it out. All right. There it is. So I'm just going to, now this is actually a shea butter, a shea butter melt and pour. I haven't used shea butter before. I've only used um, uh, goat's milk, a goat's milk soap base. Go ahead and just cut this all the way down. There we go. I got that chunk out. Now I'm going to get these pieces together. I'm trying to get the cube of six. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. It's kind of hanging out of the top, but that's okay. I'm um, just going to microwave it like a minute or 30 seconds and just watch it real close. And of course, while it's in the microwave, I need to hurry up and get all my other things ready. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this here. There's a few little miscellaneous pieces on the cutting board. I'm going to go ahead and put those in the cup. 
Okay, I'm going to try microwaving this for a minute, watching it very closely, and I forgot how long it takes, but I'll get the hang of it. It's been a year since I've made soap, so it's ready to go. So there's four molds right here. I'm going to start with the circle. And then I'm going to do the square. And then I'm going to do the oval. Have a nice little lump there so that needs to be microwaved a little bit longer so so I added in the colorant and the essential oil and some of the oatmeal powder while that's microwaving and that's what the stir stick is for to be able to um, stir this stuff up quickly so I didn't get the oval all the way full so I'll just pour on top of it and it'll be fine. Make sure I got all these good because it'll start hardening on you quickly. So I want to make sure I got it where I want it here. I don't think these soaps will have a lot of color. So I'll probably do more on the next one. But the color's pretty mild. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the oval. And then I'm going to start on the square. And I'll probably have to get some more to get the square all the way at where it needs to be. And I did hear that people don't necessarily care for uh, the liquid. So um, I can kind of see why it didn't really color very well. So I went ahead and pulled out my lemon yellow mica powder. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Okay, I'm going to use the same spoon. And I'm going to put a little bit of this mica powder in the square down here, the rectangle. Alright, and some of this oatmeal oatmeal powder because this one doesn't have any oatmeal in it yet okay I'm going to give this a stir I, th I think I prefer uh, the mica powder over the liquid so if you haven't brought your uh, supplies yet I would recommend you buy the mica powder it comes in all these different colors and it will last me like a really long time. Okay. Now I'm going to get about four more cubes off of this and try to fill these modes up all the way and I'll probably add a little bit more color and things like that. I don't know if you're supposed to do it like in sections but I did it that way last time and it came out okay as far as I'm concerned so I'll be back. So this is how it's looking so far. I just need to fill some more up here down on the end so you could see them all you could see the oatmeal in it. Pretty cool. All right. Here's the soap. This is the mold that came with it. My mom purchased this kit for me at Christmas last year. And I'm just now getting to using it. I did a, end up using the yellow mica powder, vanilla essential oil, the shea butter soap base, and the oatmeal powder, and the mold that came with the kit. Even though I have my own, I just wanted to see these cute little this one says vanilla this one says handmade this one says calm and this one has a tulip on it so thank you so much for this collaboration Lisa and Tammy I enjoyed making it I have one more video coming out another soap coming to you guys very soon have a great day be blessed do something kind guys mm -hmm.